Good morning guys and welcome back to PA Street Team. For those of you that don't know, my name is Derek. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and also that notification bell. Today we are in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at the Duck Donuts meet. This is the same meet where I was at a couple months ago, where I took the video... Where I took the video of the yellow Mustang almost crashing a couple times. Same event, but definitely not going to snow today. It's going to be pretty close to high 80s most likely. Um, I actually brought the R32 with me today and I'm going to be doing something kind of crazy with it. For those of you that watch my videos, uh, you'll remember that my last video showed when I was at LCBC that the car got ruined with road tar on the passenger side. So I decided um, after reading an article on Jalopnik to let strangers here at the meet today come up and graffiti my car. So I bought about 30 cans of Plasti Dip of all different colors. So you can see that here. And people have already started. I got here at about 6 o'clock this morning and started taping off the car. It has been years since I've taped off a car and uh, it's, even when you're not taking it super seriously, it's still quite an endeavor. But um, I did put up some rules and regs for people doing it just because I know how people are. So rule, no, rule number one, no vulgarity, no branding, and just have fun. So I'm hoping that people will really enjoy this. I've already had a lot of people come up and start doing it. Um, people seem to be scared of it, so that makes me laugh. But uh, I think it's going to be fun. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Tom, who lent me an additional GoPro so I could get time-lapse footage of the car from different angles. Um, but yeah, let's talk to some people. I've got business cards and stuff out here, and see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, guys, we are about one hour away from the end of the event. The car's getting really crazy covered right now. It's getting full, so I'm really starting to like how it's looking. I'll turn you around so you can kind of see it. Yep, we're just letting people come up and have at it. It's getting pretty full, so I'm really liking the way that it's looking. <laughs> and between every minute when I say I like it, I'm going, it's just plastic up and I can rip it off. It's just plastic up. Got to center myself. But yeah, we've got about another hour. We're going to let people keep going until the end of the event. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. See you in a bit. guys that is the end of Lancaster Cars and Coffee. I'm actually back home now I'm trying to get away from some of the sun that's happening. It is so hot out today but luckily it's starting to cool down a bit and we're getting a breeze so that's nice at least. Um, really great experience today. Unfortunately I didn't get to walk around much at the show to see what was there um, because I pretty much stayed around the car all day. I think if I were to do something like this again I would probably take somebody with me just so I would have that chance to kind of walk around and see what the rest of the show is like. But um, as far as the car being covered in graffiti right now, which you can see, it is covered. All around the front, got a nice Zelda symbol. I was a bit hesitant when I started because a lot of people were just doing their names and smiley faces and stuff and it was kind of turning into like a, an elementary school yearbook a bit. Um, but after I met a couple people, there were actually a couple guys there that are either aspiring or professional artists who do graffiti at, at different levels. And um, once I started getting their work on it, it really kind of filled in the gaps and made it seem complete. Um, but the good thing about it, it's just for fun. It's all plasti up. It's not going to hurt anything. When we redo the yellow in about a month, when I can get a, a slot in with John, because he's just booking up like crazy right now. So kudos to John and Liquid Rap Labs. But um, when he can get me back in, we're probably going to end up redoing the yellow again. Um, however, I did not expect to like the graffiti as much as I do. I knew that it was going to be fun and it would be a novelty for me, but I'm actually kind of loving it. And as I sit here and think about it, I think I'm going to add to it as time goes on. Just when I'm in a weird, funky mood or whatever, or if I find somebody and we're talking and they want to add something to it, you know, I'm definitely open to it because like I said, it's just plastic dip. It's not permanent. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of the evolution of this car as we go through this graffiti chapter. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video today. Um, thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm posting photos and stuff daily, uh, traveling around my local area 
and getting pictures of cars that I see and also updates on the R32. So I really just want to thank you guys for being a part of that. Uh, make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell just so you can keep up with what's coming up in the future. Um, there's a couple cool shows coming up soon that I'm excited about. Um, the biggest one in July should actually be happening hopefully right after we return the car to yellow if I decide to do that which is the Creatures of the Night show down in New York. It's actually a nighttime car show. So I'm going to have to do some additional mods to make the car feel more at home in that environment and I'm pretty excited about it. But yeah, so keep an eye out and have a great day.